Excalibur Artillery Projectile By far, one of the most revolutionary pieces of technology in recent times is the Excalibur Artillery Projectile. Excalibur is developed by Raytheon, a technological company that made $25 billion and houses over 64,000 employees according to 2017 data. Excalibur Artillery Projectile is compact with extended range, precision munition for US and world. To date, more than 14,000 rounds were fired in combat. This weapon system features extended reach of 39 caliber artillery up to 40 kilometers and 52 caliber artillery to more than 50 kilometers. No need for close precision, as you would love to know that the Excalibur weapon offers first round effects at all ranges and in any weather or climate it may need to operate in. It is no wonder Sweden, Canada, Australia and the Netherlands have chosen the Excalibur precision guided projectile to address vital security interests. What's even more exciting is that soldiers can stay on one side of a mountain and attack bunkers located on the opposite side with high precision, given the Excalibur EST munition. This machinery also gives them an advance in targeting their enemies as they would not even see them coming. Atmos Let us introduce you to a fire control computer, speed, radar inertial navigation system, and a target data acquisition system known as Atmos. Abbreviated for Autonomous Truck Mounted Self-Propelled Howitzer, this piece of machinery has earned its place among the best of the military's inventions. When you see this beautiful machinery, the first thing that comes to mind is, oh my gosh! Atmos provides high firepower, mobility and minimal response time, almost as if they weren't even there. Before we get into the meat of the matter, let's discuss the features of Atmos. The Atmos artillery unit meets the need for light, long-range and high-speed artillery on the battlefield. The Atmos adaptable modular system works with various all-wheel drive trucks and cannons of any caliber and range. Atmos is a combination of the built-in electronic module, automatic guiding system and automatic charging system, which provides exceptional advantages, including accurate navigation and autonomous operation. Sherp Arc 10x10 Picture a vehicle mechanized so perfect that its repair could be carried out anywhere by a minimal amount of tools. Sherp Arc 10x10 was developed to handle the most tedious of terrains, carrying 22 people or 3,400 kilograms, 7,500 pounds of cargo, over land and water routes that would seem visually impassable. This 5-speed manual transmission vehicle is compacted with 10 63-inch tire-wrapped cabs and trailer wheels connected to its 74-horsepower 2.4-liter Doosan D24 turbo diesel engine. While its maximum speed on water is 3.7 miles an hour and the Arc tops out at 24.5 miles per hour on land, the engine of the Sherp Arc gives 206 foot-pounds or 279 newton-meters of torque at 1600 rpm. Fun fact is that the Ark can be turned into an impressive go-anywhere expedition motorhome, equipped with a bathroom, kitchen and bunk beds and other essentials. Raytheon High Energy Laser Next on our list we have the Raytheon High Energy Laser. Raytheon's Space Laser Solution and Intelligence is a set of technologies that involves the use of particles of light or photons to execute the missions of the military. This technology measures distance, can defeat a wide range of threats, including unmanned aerial systems and designate targets. Lasers are precise and can be compacted with infinite magazine depth, given the correct power source, providing an unlimited supply of ammunition. Interestingly enough, this laser weapon system works in the air, on land and at sea, providing 360-degree coverage when a soldier needs it. They are already tested on small army vehicles and the Apache attack helicopter. These laser systems were designed to open architecture, which facilitates its immediate installation in a variety of military platforms. Triton G810 Armored boat, anyone? Military ships have various uses carrying valuable cargo, warding off intruders and unauthorized visitors, and all other threats. And one cannot speak of military boats without mentioning the Triton G810. In 2018, an armored boat, Triton G810, was unveiled by the Strike Group at a military exhibition held in Paris. The Triton G810 is said to be the length of 319 inches, 
The deck's width is 91 inches, accommodating up to 10 persons on board. Equipped with 250 horsepower engines, the Triton GA10 provides a maximum speed of 50 miles per hour, and the 350 horsepower motor version reaches up to 62 miles per hour. A cabin offers security, maneuverability, and stability. In the most challenging weather conditions, it is made of high-density composite materials, perfect for a military-grade weaponized boat if I may say so myself. The cabin is armored and has six loopholes. The roof of the cockpit is equipped with a gun point armed with a 12.7 caliber machine gun. Another machine gun is mounted on the front of the boat and is equipped with a folding seat for the shooter which allows him to overlap the horizon by 180 degrees. The total weight of the ship is 3.7 tons. Hermes 900 The Elbit system Hermes 900 is an Israeli medium-sized multi-payload long-endurance unmanned aerial vehicle or UAV designed for tactical missions. First used by Israel during Operation Protective Edge in July 2014, the Hermes 900 is capable of performing tasks including communications relay, area dominance, surveillance, persistence intelligence, target acquisition, and reconnaissance. While the maximum altitude of Hermes 900 is of 30,000 feet, its wingspan is 15 meters and weighs 970 kilograms and has a payload capacity of 300 kilograms or 660 pounds. Thanks to its Rotax 914 engine, this military drone can reach its top speed of 220 kilometers an hour. Besides, it can carry up to six-person life rafts integrated on its wings in its maritime patrol configuration. Polaris Dagor Find Dagor flying through the air, design deployability, versatility, and top-notch world-class off-road mobility. Polaris, a company that manufactures ATVs and snowmobiles, presented a military SUV Dagor. While many civilians daydream about having a vehicle like this one in their personal collection, Polaris designed this vehicle specifically for the warfighters and the military at large. The Dagor is the only car in the lineup of its manufacturer explicitly designed for operational movement. The Dagor can accommodate up to nine people, or can be located in stationary places or more can fit in the retractable seats and one will be the machine gunner from above. With its own weight of 2 tons, the SUV is capable of carrying cargo weighing up to 1.5 tons. Besides, the size of the body was calculated in such a way that the car was placed in a cargo helicopter compartment without any issues. Micro Tactical Ground Robot Is there somewhere you cannot go? The Micro Tactical Ground Robot can go there for you. Introducing from Israel, a new tool for weapon search was presented, the Micro Tactical Ground Robot. Its task is to search for weapons in the excavations within the massive network of Hamas tunnels, weighing approximately 20 pounds and a dimension 20 inches. The robot has got small dimensions of about 20 inches long and weighs 20 pounds. It can clear the road in front of itself by removing obstacles and climbing, descending the stairs. The robot is equipped with five cameras located on the sides, which allows the operator to control it in dangerous and aggressive terrain. This model is equipped with a microphone infrared laser, goggles, and an encrypted signal transmitter for sending video and audio records. The main feature of the development is that it can both be controlled and perform work independently. Door Blaster A tactical device for opening doors is designed toward door systems and is most often used in everyday life. It has a pneumatic hydraulic actuation system, which causes it to operate almost silently during operations. It does not create the appearance of sparks debris and is entirely safe for others. The device can be controlled and transported by one person and can be activated remotely. The tool allows the distribution cylinder with thin profile gripping heads and a hand pump to be used separately. The servicing compressor of compact dimensions is packed in a backpack to open the one lock doors with minimal damage. The same bag fits the shiftable nozzles for different types of door leaves. The device is used by rescue services, police, and special forces in emergencies, and really anyone who needs to take a door down. Navy's Indoor Ocean While the use of ships has become extremely important in recent years, so has the demand for testing. Now, I want you to picture an ocean. Secondly, picture that ocean inside. 
The Navy's Indoor Ocean is one of the most massive indoor oceans in the world with the mask list, which represents the most advanced test facility of its kind. The Navy's indoor pool is 240 feet wide, 360 feet long, and holds over 12 million gallons of water. There are no freak waves in the world, they are all predictable. But here, the hinged wave boards, each with its own motor synced up to software, which can precisely recreate eight ocean conditions, from flat calm to typhoon-like. The 12 million gallon basin can replicate any ocean wave situation in the world, which is ideal for testing equipment and scale models of boats. Now, there you have fantastic military inventions. Have you spotted your favorite? Comment below and tell us your favorite military invention. I will see you in my next video. Peace.